Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD. And if this is your first time checking me out, make sure to hit that subscribe button to get the latest and greatest on Windows videos. So today is all about enabling Windows Defender crapware blocker. Now I'm super surprised that Microsoft does not have this option somewhere inside their uh, graphical user interface and within their operating system. Uh, it is there. But you have to kind of enable it in a tricky way. We have to use a PowerShell to enable it, which is strange. So within your desktop, we're going to right click on your start menu and we're going to click on Windows PowerShell. You have to run it within an admin level. OK, hit yes on the user account control and you will have your Windows PowerShell. Now we need to type in the following commandlet set MP preferences with a parameter of PUA protection. Now, if you put one, it enables it. If you put zero, it's going to disable it. We have to enter one because we want it enabled and hit enter. That's it. You're probably saying to yourself, how do you know it's actually enabled? So I did a little test. Uh, I installed setup image burn application within my Windows 10 environment and I double clicked on it. I hit yes within the user account control and I hit next. I accept the license and terms next for everything. Uh, I left it as the default destination. Click next again, installed and done. Now, eventually what's going to happen is because the program was installing a lot of crap behind the scenes that you did not know about, you're going to get this. Uh, well, I received this. It basically said potentially unwanted apps found. What? That's crazy. A bunch of apps were blocked due to the installation of this program that I did right here. That kind of sucked. So if you go inside virus threats and protection, uh, eventually it's going to load up. And if you go inside threat history, you're going to see the particular threat that was quarantined due to this program being installed. It's, it's basically crapware that was installing on your machine. Now, if you click on it and you click on see details, uh, you're going to get an additional user account control. Click yes. You're going to see that it was quarantined. Uh, this program has potentially unwanted behavior. Again, this program came because of this guy right here that I installed. Uh, it looks like it was infecting the local temp file. Enabling crapware behavior is a plus. I'm super surprised that Microsoft doesn't have an option within the virus and threat protection to just like an on and off switch. Uh, it's kind of sad that we have to go inside PowerShell to enable it. I would like to see this feature embedded within the virus and threat protection area or the Windows Defender protection area. And that's it, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Leave comments right below. Don't forget about hitting that like button. And I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.